Hey, how's it going? You're watching my Iron Wheel vlog. Of course, I first want to say Happy New Year. Uh, we're now in the 2020s. So during this week over the new year, uh, the Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, I've taken off work and I'm at a friend of mine's parents' farm, which is a couple of hours drive north of Sydney City, uh, near Tari. And it's only a few kilometers to the beach, which is awesome. But it's just a great place to get away from everything, get away from people, get away from the city, and just relax. I don't know if you can see this, but Wallaby. Ironman Australia is in Port Macquarie, which is about another half an hour to an hour north of here. In fact, the cycle route for Ironman Australia goes from Port Macquarie um, and down to just a couple of kilometers north of here. So they cycle south to around here. So we're about 45 kilometers south of Port Macquarie, where we are. Another thing you may notice while I'm doing this run today is there's a lot of charred trees. And that's because this area was very strongly affected by the bushfires, which are still going on in many parts of New South Wales. Queensland, Victoria, and South Australia as well now. Luckily this area wasn't, they didn't have much in the way of destruction of homes. So that was very lucky. But yeah, all these trees, everything is charred and black. It's kind of eerie. But as I've said before, I've grown up with bushfires around areas where I've lived. And yeah, it's very unfortunate that these things happen. They do happen. And these trees, they're not dead. They will sprout back to life. There will be green stuff coming out of them very soon. And in a couple of years, it'll look like nothing ever happened. I mean, you can already see amongst all of these burnt trees around me, there's all the greenery starting to come up through the earth. Sorry, cicadas are really noisy out here. And while we're at it, if you've got spare change or anything that you can help out with to help with the bushfire appeals and everything, uh, I will leave a link to a few places that you can donate in the description box below. So check that out, donate if you can. It would be greatly appreciated. The, the RFAS, all the volunteer, volunteers, all the fireys, everyone helping out with these fires are amazing and whatever we can do to help them out is always greatly appreciated. The risk of trees falling is a major concern. One of the reasons why they don't open the highways immediately after the fires have been put out is because of the risk of fallen trees. So there is, once a fire has been through, if a tree is weakened because of that and is on the potential of collapse, it may not collapse for another week, month, whatever. So what the RFS and volleys and everyone else who is tending to the fire scene has to do is to drive through and assess, is it safe? For people to drive through. Please respect that roads may still be closed for a little while after the fires have been put out or after the risk of the fire has gone. Because the risk of falling trees is still there. I'm back in Sydney. Unfortunately, the holiday doesn't last forever. For me, it only lasted what, three days while I was up north. So now I'm back in Sydney. Uh, today, I'm actually taking a day off. It's the next week. I'm taking a day off um, and I'm in Sydney city at the moment. 
uh, 8.30 a.m. and it is really smoky in the city this morning. I mean, back there, that's the Harbour Bridge. I can't even really see the end of it. I can only see one half of it. That's pretty smoky. It's pretty bad air quality. So I'm going for a run this morning. But obviously because of the air quality, I'm not going to make it too long because air quality. And this morning I'm running around the Barangaroo Reserve, which is what I ran around during the Sydney Marathon. It's really nice up here. And that's the Anzac Bridge over there, apparently. Darling Harbour, around there. That's the Star Casino, just over there. If you can see it. Now up here at Observatory Hill, uh, this is probably the best view you're going to get of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. So as I've said, I'll be putting in the description box below a few places where you can donate to. There's the RFS, uh, there's also Red Cross, uh, Wires, which is the animal uh, protection and help for animals. This is what it's like running across the Harbour Bridge on a normal day. Yeah. View from the other side of the bridge, of course. Running across the Harbour Bridge is a pretty nice run. It's about a kilometre long. So going across and back gives you about two kilometres to your run. And of course, you're running across one of the most iconic parts of Sydney. I don't show you much of Sydney very often. Here's a bit of a tour. Here's Luna Park. And I'm finding new places. I didn't even know this area existed, but it's kind of, wow, like a little trail run almost. This is really nice. There's little picnic tables everywhere. This is weird, but really nice to know about. So right now I'm on the north side of the bridge. It's sort of behind Luna Park. I don't know which suburb this is. It's like someone's big backyard or something. It feels kind of like I'm trespassing on someone's property. It was all so really nicely and neatly laid out. But it's a public area. So that's all good. Number one secret street. So it looks like someone must live there, possibly. I think I saw a sign back there that said Lavender Bay. So this is probably Lavender Bay. Well, that's about enough running for me. Thanks for watching. If you want more swim, bike, run, and exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.